protection my beautiful scorpios welcome to your reading this is going to be a short reading this is going to be a little under uh, 30 minutes as i took the poll i promised to do some shorter readings in addition to my deep dives so this is that this is uh what that is i will you beautiful souls are feeling amazing well all is blissed in your world i'm not going to take up too much time what we have on the bottom of the numerology deck is we have the number four and it says perseverance and it is currently 609 on the clock that reduces to 15 which is six so that still reduces to six the last three readings six has been a very um vital number that number has come up three different times three different readings so six is really uh, maybe some of you all are seeing a lot of sixes six 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 protons for six neutrons six electrons a lot of people associate six 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 with some sort of uh, dark energy the devil you know you know but it's really not that it's really about um you coming into uh this this new energy of change things are changing things are shifting uh things are moving forward for you i feel you are moving away from some sort of um old stagnant see it's like stagnancy is now being you're breaking through from some sort of stagnancy perhaps uh with that six it's also associated with your first eye so there is an emphasis on trusting your intuition um we have lonnie liston smith and the name of this song is called um so it's called lonnie liston smith and the cosmic echoes that's the name of the group and the name of the song is shadows so perhaps this is spirit telling you that there's something that's creeping in the shadows uh in the clairaudient message there was an energy of someone that was in a secret competition so just be mindful to trust your intuition and to use discernment uh if you are planning to do something even if you're planning a trip if you're going with a group of friends just be mindful to um you know use your own discernment uh to ensure that you know you're not going to get caught up in a certain situation with four perseverance i see that you all have been healing you've healed uh from a lot of past pain you've persevered from a lot of trauma a lot of negativity that may have taken place in your past and now there is the season where you will be manifesting so from you healing and learning to love yourself you've also learned that you're the alchemist and through maintaining hope and optimism and looking forward you know with with that optimism you know there is some sense of you manifesting something there's a wish fulfillment here this eight and this four reduces to 12 that's three so that three is like the empress energy maybe there's a divine cosmic uh, a divine counterpart or a cosmic companion this could even speak to you leveling up to uh you know reach that level of self-mastery if you're a divine feminine if you're a divine masculine you could be attracting a divine feminine someone that you may have manifested this is going to leave you feeling emotionally fulfilled this is a pink and a green card which both deals with the heart chakra so that green and that pink both deal with the heart chakra so you are attracting someone um that i feel is going to either open up your heart i feel through you doing your own healing and learning to love thyself um you know through self-discipline and discovering self-worth and your self-value it's like now you're manifesting something in your likeness this is like you're attracting someone that's um you know a like mind so let's tap in before i started the reading i already did my prayers my petitions i want to welcome any of you that may be new to the channel my name is q i channel messages intuitively i am an empath i'm clear audience and uh the way that things work here is the name of the songs that i listen to the name of the artist maybe the lyrics within the song maybe even the time stamp on the clock it all correlates to what i may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards show and it all blends beautifully so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones in other words if it doesn't apply let it fly by take the parts that do leave the rest um my readings are also timeless so whenever this video has found you that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so so i welcome anyone that may be new to the platform and i also want to send infinite love and light to all of my beloveds that are returning you already know what it is love is love is love is love is love i appreciate you all thank you to everyone that has patronized my etsy shop 
that has booked consultations. I will be uploading a, a video. Um, it's pretty much like uh, testimonies to show all of the amazing uh, emails that I've received of people who've been very satisfied with their reading and they've uh, you know stated how accurate uh, the readings have been so I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have uh, given me the honor to tap into your energy it is truly an honor truly a blessing and I appreciate you all dearly for that so let's dive right in I've already said my prayers petitions I've already cleansed the energy and so we're gonna proceed with the read I'll shape so let's three times three different directions speak to you doing shadow work you doing some you know doing that dark night of the soul going on that dark night of the soul journey so what we have on the bottom of the deck we have 91 surrender so i feel like if you are trying to um you know control something i feel like spirit is telling you it's time to surrender it's time to relinquish the need to control it's time to relinquish that need to even even control narratives it's time to surrender and let the divine take the reins and take things in the direction that divine sees fit. You know, the six is really, um, you know, because when we opened the reading, it was six. So that six is your discernment. You know, when you have discernment and when you're intuitive, it speaks to your ability to, you know, connect to your higher self, to tap into your Christ or that God frequency so it's like maybe you've already done this with this surrender at 91 that's 10 so it's like you've given up the need to control and now you are surrendering to spirit and letting spirit guide you and lead you and it looks like you have a brand new beginning that you are on the precipice of so you're coming out of the shadows, coming out of those murky waters and into some sort of beautiful um, new fresh This is what, um, you know, you've learned is patience, you know, and that's why you're surrendering, uh, because maybe when you were trying to control things, nothing was moving, you know, maybe there was a lot of resistance, but now through you showing, um, you know, that, that you can, uh, relinquish the need to control and allow spirit to take the reins. Um, this is saying that, you know, you are going, uh, to be able to find some sort of balance this is really saying that there was a lot of confusion and and and, and inner conflict you know because that too is like being stuck in two minds and perhaps surrender to spirit spirit can you know kind of point things out to you this is also about you know your intuition because the number two is associated with the high priestess and this 91 breaks down to 10 so that's the end of trying to control or the end of um you know trying to um trying to dominate or trying to yeah control i feel more control of a situation but that one also becomes the alchemist that's like the magi so it's like you're learning that you are um, the alchemist, but you have to co-create with source. So it's like you get the, you know, you get the approval from source in order to manifest. This here with the two patients, it's like, you know, that perhaps there is uh, someone that can be of um, someone that's like very similar to you in a lot of ways and in a lot of respects. You know, maybe this is like someone that it, you will be able to give to equally. You know, this is someone that will understand you on an emotional level because we did see that pink and that green, which shows emotional intelligence or you being emotionally fulfilled. And so with this, too, I feel like the spirit was telling you good things take time to create. So let's see, let's see what you're attracting to you, who or what. And we have um, Stevie Wonder, and this is called Ribbon in the Sky. So this is really saying that you are attracting someone because I'm getting like the. and have done that shadow work and so now that you've done that shadow work you can now attract someone that is on your frequency it's taken this time because it's really about 
you know, working on yourself and, and making sure um, that you get rid of any, any uh, faulty belief systems, ideologies, habits, even, you know, the need to control, you know, so this is really, you know, like that, that journey of, of um, that inner uh, work that you do and that soul journey that you go on. It's like that has opened up your eyes to a lot of things that you needed to uh, get rid of, you know, because those were faulty belief systems. Those were faulty ideologies and habits and behaviors. Maybe even people you had to cut off and circumstances you had to get rid of or distance yourself from. And it required patience. You know, so with that ribbon in the sky, I absolutely feel like that's like hope, you know, that's like um, a beautiful energy of, you know, let me turn this down before I get a stripe. Yeah, so it's like, you know, that's it's like maybe you're looking for that. And I do feel like, you know, there is someone uh, perhaps that could be coming in, but let's tap in. So that was quick. That message came out. So we have 22 intuition. So spirit is saying, trust your intuition. There's also some downloads that you could be getting with this 22 and this one that's five. So maybe there's a sense of someone maturing. I'm hearing maturation in my mind's eye. I'm also hearing that there's someone who's like healing and growing and learning. And maybe someone is kind of like for more so focused on, you know, themselves focused on focused on growing and evolving um, within their own consciousness and maybe even spiritually so they could be like you know going through going through some uh, to get some sort of certification and and healing like a Reiki healer or going through some shamanic healing process or maybe someone is becoming like a, a um, sound therapist or they're just honing their skills or discovering their life purpose passion mission or even their path um they're following their intuition uh with double numbers i feel you are attracting someone that's in your likeness as i said and with that two that we saw earlier some of you may be seeing two 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 some of you may be also um you know attracting someone who is equally intuitive I feel like, you know, with that 22 intuition, it, 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 that breaks down to four. And so that's really about, uh, you know, trust your intuition when it comes to matters of the heart, which you're attracting to you is someone, uh, you know, because the four is, you know, it's it's uh, the vibration of 1111. And so there is perhaps like someone that could be, you know, coming in that could be like a yin to your yang, yang to your yin. Five is the hierophant. So perhaps there's some communication coming in. Maybe you can feel sense that something's coming in or maybe there's someone communicating with you telepathically. The five is the throat chakra. So I do feel there's an expression. Maybe you're expressing yourself more artistically or creatively finding your voice. You know, in a particular area, maybe you're learning something new, maybe you're in school, maybe you're getting certifications, as I said, but this is an energy of studentship and, and, and um, tutelage, sitting at the feet of the elder, pastor, teacher, master teacher, uh, pra pastor, preacher, uh, maybe you're becoming ordained, but this is like really um, also it could be speaking to marriage as well. That song, Ribbon in the Sky, is like one of those songs that they play at a wedding ceremony or at a wedding reception. So this is really just, you know, kind of um, giving me a sense of like maybe if love comes in, Spirit is telling you to surrender to it, to not be closed off. Because perhaps this is someone that your angels and your guides are sending to you. Well, let's happen and see. So this is what you're attracting to you. So two people who have had to... Uh, learn to heal you know two is duality so that's someone very balanced i feel like not only are you balanced map you know mind body and soul but someone else is because the two is really it's about you know finding that uh emotional and spiritual equilibrium it's about finding that stability as well as that that balance you know and i feel not only are you um feeling that but someone else is and they're very attracted to you maybe someone has been trying to resist something and they are now surrendering because I get resistance, you know. So, you know, there's a sense of someone like resisting love. And it's perhaps due to something that took place in the past. So what we have in the bottom of the deck, we got 67 physical activity and we're about to pull the card for how someone feels about you. So it's like someone realizes they got to put in the work is what I heard. 
and I'm hearing that Big Daddy Kane song. I go to work. I get the job done. I work baby like i'm hearing that so it's like someone's coming in to like really be intentional to really show you you know like that they're they're really serious because that 67 breaks down to 13 so someone's gone through some sort of transformation they've grown i was hearing the word maturation earlier because this 22 and this one breaks down to five so that is an energy of like learning and studentship and sitting at the feet of the elders or getting some sort of advice that you can now start applying you know someone is applying you know, some of the knowledge, some of the knowledge that they've obtained from the elders. You know, so it's like they, they, they're coming in to put in the work to be intentional. Look what's on the bottom of the deck now. We got 88 and it says abundance. So they're coming in to shower you with this love. This is another pink card. I feel like not only do you um, feel like a wish fulfillment to someone that's coming towards you, but I feel like you will also realize that this is your wish fulfillment. Something you've manifested because remember this 91 breaks down to 10 and that 10 breaks down to 1. So after some sort of ending, after dealing with someone that was kind of stubborn perhaps in your past. And that's why you could be closed off and guarded and, and you know, just kind of a little, maybe just a little bit, you know, apprehensive about love. It's like now it's like spirit is saying to, you know, kind of open yourself up for new beginnings to be more receptive so that you could get blissed. You know, but this is also about you becoming the alchemist, as I said, co-creating with source, realizing that you have that ability to co-create with source and manifest the desired outcomes you see fit, the desired outcomes that you want, you know. And so with this 88, that's, you know, two, um, you know, two people, again, like mine, shadow, you know, this is someone that's mirroring you. That's another reason why that shadow song played, because this is someone that's off in the shadows, hidden. So this could be like a secret admirer, someone that feels your wish fulfillment. With this 16 that this 88 breaks down to, I definitely feel like this is someone that's building up, mustering up the courage, the wisdom, and, you know, their heart is really like pulling them in your direction. You know, maybe this is like your heart's, um, desires what you've set out you know sent out into the ethers it's like it's pulling this person in towards you i feel you both have gone through many uh karmic lessons because the eight is it deals with karma so what goes around comes around so as you heal that self you learn to love that self when you love that self you know that self so that's why you're attracting someone that is very uh emotionally intelligent someone that speaks your love language someone that will fulfill you emotionally you know, some of that was, is also, um, they have substance. This isn't someone that's just, you know, th there's no density there. There's no, there's this like, th there's no vacancy. Like, you know how some people you meet them and it's just like, they have no substance. It, there's nothing. It's just, you know, they could just be attractive, but they have nothing to add on. There's nothing stimulating or n no depth, I should say. So it's like, but this person, it's like, it's exciting. Um, there is this sense of like yin yang, twin flame, you know, because even with the two, two, the double numbers here, and then the two, two here, it's just like, again, I'm just getting a sense of like someone that you attract that is, um, very similar in you know it, just similar interests you may have the similar interests you may like the same music uh you may like the same type of foods you may want to go to the same parts of the world um you know someone who's very adventurous or um spontaneous you know fun exciting like they have a good sense of humor that they don't have a stick up their behind you know it's like this is someone just free-spirited and and it's just like you complement one another it's a lot of love that the two of you share. And with abundance, it's just like you feel fulfilled. You feel so content. And this is how they feel about you. But you will also feel the same sentiment because this is a double number. What we have playing right now is we have, um, who is this? Um, this is Loose Ends and this is called Stay a While. Stay a little while, child. So it's like when this person comes in, because remember, they're rushing in, you know, because that, that chariot is, is very, you know, it comes in very quickly. And if they're coming in because they've established, the, you know, they found um, balance within themselves. Maybe this is someone that also had to go through their own journey. As I said, you both are mirroring one another. So perhaps there was also a sense of them healing from past pains. And now they're approaching you after healing from said, you know, uh, experience and so now it's like when they come in it's like you're going to be like shoot you don't you, you're not going to want them to leave or they're not going to want to leave they're going to want to stay longer you know maybe there's this is someone that when you um speak to this person for the first time it's like you know 
it, we, somebody's going to have to like, you know, someone may have to leave the conversation and it's like, dang, I wish the conversation was longer. Can you stay a little longer on the phone? It's like one of those things where you don't want the person to leave with stay a little wild child. It's like you, it's like you don't want something to end. So let's tap in. So there's 22, four. So there's communication and the seven. So seven and five reduces to um, 12. So that's three. So I'm hearing teaching and learning as well, because in this deck, 57 is teaching and learning. So I do feel like both of you are mirroring one another in terms of just the journey. You know, that's why that shadow again was playing, because it's like this is, you know, this is a reflection of you. This is someone that mirrors your energy. Um, so let's tap in and we can clearly see that with the double numbers here. So let's tap in. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Wow. So how they feel about you is they feel like you're reserved. They definitely feel like you're wrapping up a cycle. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is someone who feels like maybe you have been like kind of like guarded. You've protecting your peace. You kind of like stand offish. And so this is perhaps why they were needing to muster up some sort of strength and courage. Because we saw that 88, 16, that was seven. That was the chariot. So that's like this is why this person is kind of like, you know, a little apprehensive. But they're going to muster. They're going to power through because they're going to build that courage and be assertive. They also see that you have really been like working hard to, you know, close out any cycles, to wrap up any karmic cycles, to heal. Um, you've been doing a lot of internal work with this all purple card. It does show that you've reached that level of self mastery. Nine is the highest number of change. So they do see that you've evolved, you know, like you're, you're really like someone who is spiritually, um, wise strong you know so maybe you are seen as someone who's like you know a healer a shaman i was picking up you know some of you could be getting certifications as a reiki healer as a shaman you know maybe someone is um you know someone who's just like maybe becoming ordained um minister maybe a sound therapist but i feel like this person sees you in a high light they they see you in a high they hold you in a high esteem and with this eight manifestation we are about to pull the card for what's hidden so something you've been manifesting this is like a wish fulfillment this is something you've been really praying for and i feel like it's coming in and it's coming in because you're ready for it if you think of the hermit the hermit in traditional tarot he's like in a cave but if he's if he's like looking at a lantern and inside that lantern is the star and the number eight always gives me a sense of like a star a wish fulfillment coming in and this is from your past work so whatever you've done like even you know the death of an ego the death of the need to control you know changing your own mindset you know changing um and evolving and emerging someone new has also uh, rendered you, you know, an opportunity to obtain some sort of blessing or to receive some sort of wish fulfillment. So this is like, you know, uh, a wizard, you know, whether you're a feminine or masculine, it's like you have kind of like you've gone within, you know, it's like you've detached. You know, you've unplugged from the outside world, disconnected from the outside world, went within to work on you. So you've taken the necessary time to to self improve. You know, and, and this is something they admire, you know, and so with stay a little while, you know, maybe someone will, um, because this is like, you're also single, you're also independent, you know, so it's like, you don't need a want from anyone. Um, you've, you're very self-sufficient is what they see. And you're, you're like, you're, you, you enjoy your singlehood. You're also very selfish, you know, now, like in terms of like, just love of self like you're you, you don't just extend that to anyone now maybe in the past you were you know you weren't as um you weren't as um protective of yourself you were more open now you've learned to to be more more mindful you know more conscientious of who you extend your love to because you know your love is isn't like everyone else's so it's like others who had it and didn't appreciate it it's like moving forward you're not going to make the mistake to just give it to people that don't deserve it so it's like you're more reserved so that's like that energy of you know that de la soul energy me myself and i you're loving you yourself and you you know and so that could be another reason why this person is kind of like just kind of waiting around to see when the right time to come in it's almost like double dutch you got to wait for the right time to hop on in there you know what i'm talking about so with this eight manifestation this is like, you know, something is, it, the, the wheels are turning in a situation. And this is something that you've earned, you know, 
you know, karmically. I feel like you, you've, you've, you've done your, your just, you're getting your just due is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And we have um, Shaka Khan and this is called I Feel For You. So someone is coming back to express to you that they feel for you. They have feelings. And I feel like that's exactly this person with this 22 that breaks down the floor. That's the heart chakra. And it's like this person knows intuitively, you know, um, they know intuitively. They've always known this. Perhaps they tried to hush it. They've tried to quiet those emotions, you know, silence those emotions. Maybe this is someone that was non-committal in the past. Or maybe this is someone who just didn't, um, you know, really know how to express these emotions. But I do feel like now it's like the, 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 there's no holding back is what I heard in my mind's eye. It's like they're coming, they're coming in for what they want. So let's have that. So why is this? Um, wow. So that eight, <laughs> look at that. And this all breaks down to 13. So someone's had a major change because this eight and this five, you know, breaks down to 13. Anything going in to um, nine is that number. So with eight and um, five, that breaks down to 13. 13 breaks down to four. So all of this breaks down to four. So there could be a divine masculine coming in, someone that has love on the brain with I feel for you. This is someone that's going to express that they love you. Didn't I mention teaching and learning? And there it is. I was mentioning 57, teaching and learning. And so this person is going to express, I feel like the reason why they were apprehensive is because they want to confess or express that they love you, that they feel something deeper for you, that they have these emotions. And this is like something that's like a wish fulfillment. They're going to express your wish fulfillment. They're going to express, and this is coming in quickly. This is like, you know, I'm getting the eight of wands as well, unexpectedly. They see you as an empress. They see you as an emperor. This is someone that has definitely watched you blossom and, and, and um, you know, evolve. Like you're like an empress, an emperor. Like you're you're someone who's reached that level of self-mastery. As I said, they see you as like a wizard. They see you as wise. You're like a wise soul, you know. And that could be another reason why there was a little, you know, apprehension or intimidation. Because you, you just come off very sure, very confident, um, very regal. You know your worth now. You know your value. You know, but this is definitely an energy of someone who's kind of like been watching and pondering because the 57 breaks down to 12 and that 12 is like the hung, the hangman, pardon me. So it's like almost like someone's been um, kind of like looking at things from a different perspective. It's like they're seeing you in a different light, seeing you, you know, as someone that, you know, maybe they looked over in the past. You know, they didn't really always see you in that light. Maybe there was something different about you now. You know, maybe you've emerged recently, came out of hermit mode because this non-completion shows that you've recently wrapped up a cycle. So as you emerge and step out into the world, um, you know, as this new person, it's like it's so attractive that this person, you know, feels like, damn, I got to I got to clean my game up. I got to clean myself up and, and get on, you know, Scorpio's level, you know, so I can have a fighting chance because their feelings like they feel for you. You know, they have these emotions, they have these feelings, so let's tap in. So um, what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection here for my beloved Scorpios. Dang, that keeps happening. So we got 81, leadership, and then we have 61, self-love. Can't make that up. So this leadership, you you bossing out here. They see you as someone who's definitely owned your power. You know your worth now. You know, you could be a teacher, you know, because that teaching and learning is absolutely showing that, you know, you are um, standing up for yourself. You're now more courageous. You're more bold. You could be, you know, someone who's like... Um, you know, perhaps you have a, per, a, a platform where you are helping others, where you may have gotten your certification and you may be holding classes now. Um, they see you bossing up like you're a boss. You got your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You know, this 81.9, that's the highest number of change. This is something that you have absolutely evolved into. And with the 61 self-love, it's like you have been able to obtain um, this success because you did that work. You've grown personally and realized that self-love, um, that's how you are. Um, that's where, you know, love starts from within. You got to, you know, that's an inside job. So you got to first love you. And when you are out here bossing up, it's like that's a very admirable, 
position. So you could be inspiring others. You could be helping others, healing others, teaching others. And that's very admirable in this person's eyes. And it's making them grow even more. You know, the heart is growing more fonder. You know, with this 19 pride, it's like they're swallowing their pride. Because they're realizing ego and all of that, that's immaturity. It's like you got to be able to, you know, put the pride aside. People who are too proud to ask for what they want or too proud to say how they truly feel, that's that's a level of, like, immaturity because you're more so concerned about how we, how you're coming off or how others will perceive you opposed to just speaking your truth and standing in it and owning it. So that's what you've learned to do. You're speaking your truth. You're owning it. You're you're prioritizing you. This is this is a level of self mastery. You know. You think the empress and the emperor care about what other people think about them? Absolutely not. You know why? Because they love themselves enough to to know that they don't need any validation from anyone else. And so that's the level that you're on. They see you bossing up. They see you as a leader. They see you as someone out here that's that's living their truth, and it's admirable. It's in it's admirable. It's 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 um. It's very encouraging. It's inspiring, you know. And so this is causing them to now. Now look at this. This is mirror. Remember teaching, teaching and learning. This is what you're doing. So surrender. You know, someone is surrendering. Perhaps this is their energy. Perhaps this is your energy. When you learn to surrender and trust spirit, it's like you know now that ego death takes place. But these numbers are interchangeable. So remember what I said about mirroring. So this person is mirroring you, and they are like. Off in the shadows watching. I do feel like they do watch you. So we have here 1 and 2, 5, 5 and 8, 13, 4, 4 and 7. That's 11. That's 2. So this is someone that definitely does feel um, like you are the yin to their yang. You know, 2 is like when you think of 11, because that's what it broke down to, um, that's still a double number, 1 and 1. So not only did you, you know, have to work on healing yourself and getting to the root cause of what your past, you know, what your past um, traumas um, triggered. It's like they, they triggered things within you that showed up in your relationships. And so you had no choice but to go and heal that and to identify where um, that trauma comes from. And so you may have done a lot of soul work and discovered you had a lot of trauma from your childhood. Maybe you were abandoned as a child. Maybe you were rejected in, in former loves. Maybe your first you know, experience was very traumatic or whatever the case may be. Maybe you were abandoned by a parent, a mother or a father. Maybe you didn't have a mother or a father in the household and someone else raised you. Whatever the case was, that was the reason why your relationships were always failing because it was like you were constantly um you know you was like you were looking um for someone or something to validate you in your relationships because of you know your 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 home environment your 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 familial uh traumas that you were carrying around and when you started to work on yourself because that's what the one is in that 11 it's like when you started to work on yourself and realize that you had to heal that so that you weren't always, you know, um, perpetuating this cycle of, of toxicities, toxic relationships or toxic mates. It's like that's when, you know, you were able to um, really cut yourself free from that and, and really start uh, redefining what that family construct looks like for you or what that, uh, you know, what stability looks like for you, you know, what what, you know, how you can build with someone, you know, what, what your requirements were. Like I said, discovering what your love language is, you know? And so that's what you started to do. So that one represents getting back to the self. You know, you may have lost yourself in a relationship, but you got back to one. You got to start back with you. And that's what you did. So that one represents the base, the base chakra. It's also the root chakra. So that's about, you know, getting to the root cause. And as you do that work, you start to ascend. You start to grow. You start to level up until you get to the crown. And when you get to that crown chakra, that speaks to you now, you know, growing personally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, so that's very powerful. It's okay. You might as well come through. Oh, sorry, I gotta get back to, to work. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> that was my daughter, y'all. <laughs> so it's like, you know, so you got through and you did your necessary work. And with this 81 and the 61 here, you know, um, like I said, that 11, that, that's also showing that the person you're attracting, pardon me, um, you're the person you're attracting is also uh, someone who's done their work as well. So that's why they're having that ego death. That's why they're, you know, also, you know, putting the pride aside because this 19 is 10 along with this 91. 
that's 10, so that's 1, so that's literally uh, the 2 that all of this breaks down to. So you're attracting someone that speaks your love language. You know, the 2 is like the 2 of cups is what I'm giving, um, what I'm getting. Uh, the 2 of cups is like someone pouring into your cup and you can also pour into theirs because now you have something to give. You know, you can't pour from an empty vessel. And so I feel like you both have learned to, you know, pour into yourselves and learn to love thyselves and heal thyselves. And now that you've done that, you can now give to someone else. So this is very beautiful. Um, that two is also showing me the two of wands where there's someone making a decision. They're finally, they've made a decision and they're taking action. They're going in the direction that they see fit, you know, that they feel is best for them. So that's very beautiful. So let's tap in. So we're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So it is 6.44 on the clock now and we have Duran Duran and this is called Save a Prayer. So someone has definitely saved a prayer for this moment. They've been praying, wishing, hoping, like I said, with that eight, what's hidden in the energy that's always given me like, you know, the star card, you know, it's like someone's just sending up those prayers and they're very hopeful. They're very optimistic. You know, they're not sitting around and, and, um, you know, thinking the worst, they're very optimistic about what the outcome will be, you know. And so what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have faith and wisdom. It don't get no more hopeful and optimistic than having faith. So someone's walking in faith and not by sight. That could have been you as well. You know, walking in faith and not by sight. Perhaps that's what spirit told you. But faith and wisdom, wise dome, you know, wise dome comes after you apply the knowledge. So it's the application of knowledge that gets you to the point of wisdom. And remember what I said about someone seeing you is very wise. Seeing you as someone who has definitely, you know, mastered yourself. Someone who's learned tremendously. And they can now take a page from your book or they can now learn from you. So we have... Um, Creation, Amun Ra. Oh, that's beautiful. Amun Ra, and then we have Isis, and this is uh, faith and wisdom. So that's what you have in the split. So it's like you're now um, seen as a very creative being. You're someone is that's very uh, artistic. And remember, we had this one and this twenty-two. That's five, and that's truly the energy of um, you know that that. Uh, you know, that empress or that emperor, you are the creatives, you are the master manifestors, you set your intention and it becomes a reality. It manifests in this physical reality. It comes into fruition. And so that's what that, that energy of the empress is. She is a mother. Uh, the empress is a father. So they, you know, the, the, they, they give birth to life. They birth new ideas. They're creative. They're artistic. It's a beautiful energy um, that you are, you know, now owning. You know, so, and it's because you've you've surrendered. You know, it's like you've relinquished that need to control things. And I feel like that control was more so out of fear. You know, fear of things going left, fear of things not working out. You know, that's something that you may have adopted after a failed relationship or after being disappointed, deceived, backstabbed, betrayed, lied to, deceived. So you took on this this facade or you took on this this um, attitude to protect yourself. But that is something that you had to get rid of is the need to control. You can't control anything. You just got to go with the flow. You know what I'm talking about? So what we have here is prosperity on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like things when you surrender, it's like blessings can now come come in. You know, it's like you can't force things. Nothing can be forced. Everyone has free will. So when you try to force the situation, it's not going to work out. So spirit is saying, if, even if you're trying to forcefully, uh, you know, manifest something or you, you call in something, it's like it doesn't work like that. It comes in in divine timing. But this prosperity is assured. I feel like you have something really beautiful uh, manifesting. And I feel like spirit is saying like here because we got 19 now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't even know if that card, I don't even know where that card went. Let me see. Okay. Give me a second. Let me, let me get these cards. All right. Pardon me for that. So I don't, I lost the card somewhere in this deck. So we just going to carry on, shall we? All right. So let's tap in. We're going to cut this deck again and we're going to clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. So let me cut this deck. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going off our beloved Scorpio spirit. 
So, as you can see, we already went past the time. Because I like to, you know, it's just hard for me to do short videos. Because I'm really, like, I like to really break things down for sake. Because everybody's not on the same level of understanding. So, I really want to make my messages clear and concise for those who don't really fully understand um, Tarot, you know. And so what we have is understanding. As I'm speaking about people not having understanding, it's like that's what it is. So what we have here is it says wholeness, thought. So 12. So look at that, surrender. So in order for you to, you know, have a sense of, you know, to even feel complete or to even, um, you know, have that sense of, of contentment, you know, it's like you have to, you have to give up the need to control the narrative. You know, because that 12 is, you know, that this is, this is like, you know, that, that same energy of hangman. So it's almost like spirit has, you know, put someone in a sacrificial position to, to see like you can't control the narrative. You can't even control other people. You can't control how they perceive you. You can't control how they treat you. All you can do is you can control you. One is really, you know, as I said, because this breaks down to 10. So the need to control could have led to the demise you know, the lack of control even um, could have led to the demise. But this wholeness is what you've been able to obtain after something has ended. You know, you started to trust your intuition. You started to look at things from, you know, that bird's eye view. You started to trust your inner gumption because this one and this 12, you know, that, that also um, reduces to four. You know, so that four is, again, the heart chakra. And remember, we have 22 here. So that that's like, you know, really trusting what you're feeling, you know, trusting what your heart is telling you to do. And we have um, Mickey Howard, nobody playing. And remember on understanding. So there was perhaps, you know, a level of misunderstanding, not really understanding what the process was, not really understanding someone. Not really even understanding, overstanding, understanding thyself. And you needed to use your intuition. This is four again. So you have four, four, four here. And so spirit stepped in. I feel like your angels, your ancestors stepped in. They really stepped in to, you know, take the reins, as I said. You know, because only the divine is in control. You're not in control of anything. It's like you want to make God laugh. You tell him your plans. So it's like this wholeness. It's like. This is what led to you now finally um, being, you know, finding that sense of contentment, I feel, you know. So let's tap in. So let's tap in. So we got this understanding, intuition. So someone is gaining a better understanding, overstanding, omnistanding, understanding of this situation, even of you. You know, they're learning because this understanding, um, you know, is definitely like, you know, as I said, this two this 22 and this one that's five, that's about tutelage and scholarly energy. So someone is now gaining a better understanding. So now they can, you know, uh, apply whatever the knowledge, whatever this is that they're obtaining, they can apply it. They're also learning to trust their intuition. So why is this 22 intuition here for what our beloved Scorpios are attracting, who or what they're attracting to them? They get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Get a message. Thank you, Spirit. Finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, you have uh, Genesis. So this is the beginning. See that? So this is what's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we start clarifying the completion card, which is the how they feel about you. So what came out is truth and fairness. Mama Ma Ma'at, 13. So after some sort of ending or transformation, like someone is now, um, because Mama Ma'at has everyone's address, but this is the same as Lady Justice. This is about things, you know, the scales being balanced out. So with this intuition, it's like justice is, is like making everything, is putting everything into balance. It's restoring the balance. This 13 reduces to four again. So that's four, four. You know, is that 13 is 4. And in traditional tarot, can you see the 13? That 13 there, you know, so that reduces to 4. And this is 4. So you have 4, 4, 4 yet again. I just showed you that when I was shuffling the cards. So this is your, like, this is like spirit is, is putting things in um, motion for you. It's like everything is being handled fairly and justly. 
because it says truth and fairness so someone is seeing the truth and they're seeing the truth because now they're more you know um susceptible to trusting their intuition perhaps in the past they had a lot of people in their ear because that 22 and that one is five that could have even been you like really confused and conflicted not really knowing which direction to go because so many people were like kind of pulling and tugging on your energy maybe there was a lot of competitive energy unbeknownst to you secret competition unbeknownst to you you know but with this here it's like those two eyes shows that mama my aunt sees everything knows all and that's why justice is being um restored and so with this genesis here what did i say about you getting back to the self getting back to one the genesis is the beginning so this is the very beginning that's what you did you got back to the root cause and this 24 reduces to six so that six represents the first eye and six is also the lover so that's showing that you were balanced that's showing that that's that yin yang that feminine masculine property being balanced being in harmony and that's why you are able to you know wrap up a cycle so easily so quickly you can complete a cycle because you took that necessary time out to look back in awareness and learn from your you know mistakes or to learn from the past period you know and you've always remained hopeful. You've always walked in faith and not by sight. And what we have playing right now is we have um, You're the One for Me. And this is by uh, D Train. And so someone is realizing that you're the one for them because they see you now. You know, like I said, you're enjoying your singlehood, your independent, self sufficient. You're loving yourself. You're treating yourself good. You know, you're very, you, you, it's like you don't even need to want for anything. You know, so it's just this energy is just very attractive. It's just very, uh, you know, and there's a train. So someone is feeling this, this distance. Someone is feeling the distance between you, whether emotionally or even physically. You could be at a distance from this person. So they could communicate with you intuitively. I feel like you rent space in someone's mind. You know, and maybe they feel like you're guarded, as I said, because I'm getting like the nine of wands. Like, so you're being very selfish, you know, naturally after disappointment, you're going to naturally throw up the, you know, the, the, the uh, boundaries or the guards, um, you know, but this person feels like you, you're the one for them. You know, they feel like you're the one, you're the one that got away. That's why I was saying, like, I felt like they see you as a wish fulfillment. So thank you, spirit. They got the message. And so what it says is wisdom. I can't make this up. I told you this person sees you as wise. I can't make this ish up. Don't play. They see you as wise. They see you as a wise soul. You see how she's sitting here scribing? You know, she's drawing up. This is like hieroglyphics. This is the way the ancient commissions used to write. You know, that was their writing system. So she's like literally someone wise. You could, she could even be seen as a teacher. You know, so they're learning from you. As I said, they're taking a page out of your book, beloved, because you have evolved. You've you've tr you've grown. We got four, four, four here and four. So four, 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 four. Some of y'all are seeing four, four, four. The angels are definitely like in the building, like they're protecting you. Some of y'all see four, four, four. I saw four, four, four today and posted it. But you're very wise. You're their wisdom. They see you as their wisdom, you know. The wisdom is like, you know, the feminine energy, the earth, you know, wisdom, the earth, the whiz, you know, that's, you know, how the God bodies used to reference the feminine energy. And so that's what this person sees you as if this is if this is a masculine, even if this is a feminine that's looking at a divine masculine, they see this masculine as a very wise soul, someone very mature, someone in tune and connected. Someone that's a healer, someone that's a teacher, someone that's inspiring, encouraging. And this is awaken something within them, encourage them. So what we have is alchemical force. What did I say about y'all manifesting in this alchemical force and manifestation is one and the same. So this is like what you've done. You've learned that you're the alchemist, that you're the magi, and, and you've been manifesting what you desire into your life and what you've been manifesting is here it's coming in it's coming in unexpectedly as well this is a wish fulfillment here and this is heka alchemical force and with force i just feel like it's coming in so quickly it's it's going to take your breath away you're going to be so elated this is powerful it's going to bring emotional fulfillment for you 
And we got um just got paid Friday night playing. So you getting some moolah with them dollars at beloved. Rising power against the boo. But this is Johnny Kemp. Someone's name could be John or Kemp. So yeah, the, the, just got paid. I feel like you're about to get some some money, unexpected money. I feel like you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled and financially fulfilled. You know? Wow. Okay, so a couple of messages flew down. We got faith and wisdom again on the bottom of the deck. I'm not taking all these cards. This is like one in too many cards. Um, I feel like Spirit is telling me to take the ones that landed on the table, but the ones that were on the floor to put back in the deck. Give the card a bang, bang, boogie. So I feel I will do that. So we had uh, protection. So you are protected. protected. You know, I'm going to just expound. You know, so if there's anything or anyone that's in a secret competition or anyone sending you evil eyes or whatever, that may be, you're, you're protected. And we know that because we done saw 444 show up several times. We have renewal, so that speaks of the transformation, the rebirth, that speaks of the regeneration, that Scorpio's energy, like going through this startling metamorphosis. And you now have the clarity, and this is happy, and this is... um. You know, that renewal energy, that 25 breaks down to 7. So this is really showing that now you have that strength, that courage, that wise dome to take action, to move forward. And we see 10. And this is um, Nefty. Nefty. And this is meditation. So you've learned to ground yourself, you know. You've learned to meditate, to get things straight, to consult with your higher self, you know, to tap into your God frequency, your Christ consciousness. You know, you've learned to, you know, even pay homage and greet the sun. You know, some of you may sun gaze. You know, the sun is a life force. It's also an energy of um, illumination, clarity, strength. Um, it really represents, um, you know, power and strength. And, and uh, it's just, it's an energy that also gives you uh, the ability to, to see through uh, you know, see through the illusion or see things that you may not have been able to see in the past. And we have two, Amun Ra, and this is uh, creativity. So you've learned to uh, co-create with source, just as I said, that's what that manifestation is based upon, what you've set in, you know, your intentions into, you know, co-creating with source and, 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 and manifesting, becoming that alchemist. That too is associated with the high priestess as well. So trusting your intuition. And we have union and power, 23. And that 23, as I said, that's five. So that's the hierophant. There could be a beautiful um, union you're manifesting, like a spiritual partnership, uh, forming or developing a, an alliance or a business partnership, even meeting and attracting your soul tribe, soul family. Uh, but you are coming into some powerful unions. You know, these are people that see your, your value, people that look up to you, people that are inspired by you, perhaps. And I feel like whatever you experienced in your past that caused a lot of devastation, it's like that's why there's like this blissing, these all the, all of this um, positive energy flooding because it's like you you've gone through a very uh, difficult period or or cycle in your life, and you're coming out of that cycle. You know that's what this energy is right now because right now um, the spiritual sun is taking place. It's Osiris. You know Osiris is. Uh, you know, um, I said Osiris, Sirius, <laughs> Sirius. I'm saying Osiris because this is the comedic deck. <laughs> so, but um, you know, Sirius, the star Sirius and the sun are in alignment. So it's like it's a very powerful time right now. You know, to to manifest and to rid yourself of old habits, behaviors, and to reinvent, recreate. You know, and now we have Haru. And this is stability and equilibrium. So you're gaining that. You've gained that. You know, when you get rid of dead weight, you're able to gain, you know, that, that balance. You're able to get back in harmony with the self. And next we have uh, Satet. And this is 27. And it says fruitfulness. So there's there's blessings. You know, there's, there's something um, that you have earned, um, you know, that, that's coming in. And what we have here is change. And it says 18. And this is Kepri. And this is eight, um, eight manifestations. So this, whatever you're manifesting, this is going to change your life for the better. That 18 is also nine. Nine is the um, vibration. That's the highest number of change. So that's just confirming that, you know, after you come out of this, this hermit mode, this wish fulfillment, 
is going to change your life or change the direction, the course of your life. We also have um, 17, and this is justice, and this is segment. So you're getting your just due. You also have Mama Ma'at, which is truth and fairness. So she also is about the scales, bringing that balance. But this justice is saying that you're getting your just due, which is what we said earlier. So Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. You know, what goes around comes around at the bottom of the deck with fruitfulness. Expect that things are going to, you know, improve financially. Your life is going to blossom and bloom. I just see things multiplying, expanding and growing for the better. I feel new people are coming in that are going to match your vibration. The old people are a thing of the past because you've completely changed and transformed your mind. So you have something beautiful coming in. These are wish fulfillments. And this is absolutely beautiful. So I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I hope the messages resonated. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Yo, peace.